Today I'm super excited to talk to you about Dream Scenario. Now this was the second secret screening at Austin's Fantastic Fest 2023, which I just attended. And uh, I mean, I was all in as soon as I heard Nick Cage, right? Who wouldn't be? But listen, this film really delivers. It's a movie that's gonna make you like think a little bit about maybe the world that we live in. Now, it tackles things like mob mentality, okay? Uh, social media, right? Something gets out on social media and it just, you know, snowballs into this craziness that the whole world starts knowing. I mean, it talks a lot about stuff like that, or I shouldn't say talks about it, but it portrays stuff like that, right? Because this, this movie is kind of crazy and bizarre. And then, then the end is insane too. But listen, Nick Cage, he's just this regular old forgettable dude. He's got this silly laugh and he's kind of a, like, you know, a nobody, right? But he's a professor. He's a tenured professor. And uh, all of a sudden he starts showing up in people's dreams, like just walking through their dreams, normal, like, hey, don't mind me. I'm just walking through your dream. Uh, and it becomes this phenomenon because people who don't even know who he is or know him start dreaming about him too. And then kind of becomes, you know, someone posts about it online and then more people are talking about it. And so of course you're kind of like, are more people dreaming about him because a couple of people said it or are they, you know, are these really part of the phenomenon? You just don't know. Right. Um, but kind of that's that addressing that whole mob mentality, hive mind type thing. And then things start to get dark. Things start to get crazy. He starts being maybe not so nice in these dreams and that turns his world upside down because of course, you know, you ever have a dream where you like are fighting with someone or someone does something to you and you wake up and you're like kind of upset about it for a hot minute because you're like, well, what the hell? Like, and I know, you know, <laughs> it wasn't your fault. It was my dream. But like, what the hell, man? You know, it's so it's kind of like that sort of thing. Um, and, it, you know, it just really completely turns his life upside down. Now, it's Nick Cage. Nick Cage is so good in everything he does. There's one scene in particular that is absolutely hilarious uh, that the director said he really fought to keep in. I think it's one that maybe some people are going to be like, are you kidding me? Some people will roll their eyes. Most people will laugh. People, people with a good sense of humor will laugh. Uh, I don't want to give anything away, but you know, <laughs> you'll probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, it, it has to do with bodily functions. That's all I'll say. Okay. And it's, hilarious okay one of my favorite parts of the movie which is so weird but it is i don't know so but as we go on though this this movie is it makes you think about all those sort of things right like social media and, and influencers there's a whole lot of stuff about influences in here which is very interesting in this time you know we have a lot of social media influencers um, and so, and it kind of, you know, monetization and capitalism and stuff like that is really starts to, uh, become a part of the story towards the end. It's very interesting and entertaining. Um, I don't want to get too much into it. Then there's Michael Cera has a small ish part in this. Uh, he's like kind of an agent that tries to uh, take on Nick Cage's character. Um, Paul Matthews, by the way, is his name. I don't know if I've ever said that, but, um, but I mean, Michael Sierra is fantastic, right? So he's super funny too. He's very entertaining. Just his little few moments uh, really hit and really work. And I love his back and forth uh, with Nick Cage. It really, really works for the film. But in the end, it's actually like the final ending is is like, it's kind of heartbreaking. So, and it's emotional a little bit. And you're kind of like, oh man. And so I'll tell you, Paul is a guy you just can't help but root for, right? He's like the underdog. He's like this, like cute guy that's just like I'm like boring I don't even want to say cute because cute's maybe not the right word maybe I'm just projecting my Nick Cage stuff onto him but he's just there and you just can't help but root for him right he's he's quirky a little bit but he's boring like I don't know it's very he's got it's very interesting when you think about it there's a little bit of little bit of meta-ness to this because I mean listen we know there's a lot of people out there that think about Nick Cage all the time He's one of, I think, um, one of the better actors out there. I think he's a lot of fun. I think no matter what he does, he gives it his all. And that is uh, why I will literally see any movie that he's in. Uh, and even if I don't like the movie, I usually enjoy his performance. That's just, you know, the type of guy he is. Okay. He's very, uh, I think, willing to give himself over to a role. And that is what I love uh, about Nick Cage films. So listen. Dream Scenario is a lot of fun. It's weird. Uh, it's entertaining. It's like a dark comedy is how I would call it. And then the, the end kind of hits you in the, in the gut, in the heart a little bit. 
It really does. It kind of will get to you. So listen, I give this movie a four out of five. I really had fun with it. I think Nick Cage is the reason it works so well. But I also think there's a lot of really smart writing in here. Um, and again, I love the dark comedy. The dark moments, which start to really happen in the second half of the movie, are very, very entertaining for me. I love like a, a thriller um, esque feel, and that's kind of what you get. Uh, I don't want to give too much away, but that's kind of it's kind of how it plays out a little bit. Anyways, you guys, let me know if you're excited for Dream Scenario down below in the comments. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos like this one. Follow me over on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and you guys can check me out at mamasgeeky.com. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.